It's another gray morning in Southern California. We've got that June gloom, but we're gonna get started on a work day and some of the projects that we have, as you can see, I've acquired four used rain barrels that Eric is going to be cleaning out with baking soda and vinegar solution just to clean them out and we're gonna get them set up. It's not gonna rain here for a long time, so I've got plenty of time to figure out how to get rain in them from my house. And Eric is back there right now spraying my tomato plants with neem. And I've also got to multitask today because I've got to edit a video today and tomorrow because I'm going back up to Sierra Madre this weekend. So stick around and I hope you enjoy this garden video. Cleaning is number one. Number one. Okay, I'll be another one. What is that? Just baking soda and. Uh, and uh, uh, dishwasher. Dishwashing soda, uh -huh. okay. And vinegar. And vinegar. Three, three cups. But it's really good. Yeah. Oh, fast. See? You can clean your car. Yeah. The car. No problem. Sure. Okay. See? It's fast. It's such a gray day, and when you think about Southern California, you think about sunshine. But I'm in a microclimate right by the ocean. In fact, the bluffs are three blocks that way, and we are at 300 feet elevation so we get a lot of June gloom a lot of fog rolls in and you can get on the freeway and drive one mile that way <laughs> and it's bright sunny so this is not the best place to grow an edible garden but this is where I live and I want to grow an edible garden so if you're determined like me you find a way I'm going to spray this and then you can do it when you finish, okay? Every so often you just got to do this. Is that rain? I smell rain. rain! Oh, I like it. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Thank God. It's raining! <laughs> I thought I smelled it. <laughs> I can see it on my shirt. In order to conserve water, the way Eric works is he sprays a little bit from his sprayer and washes it and then uses just a gallon or two of water from the watering can. So we are not pouring copious gallons of water down the street. People don't, don't cut everything. Yeah, just cut the just stuff cut that looks the... bad. We have to keep the sidewalk somewhat cleared. We don't want anyone complaining or tripping. You know I love flowers, and I have so many that I can see just from this viewpoint. But this weekend, after my show, I was presented these lovely flowers from friends. This one is from my buddy Zachary next door, and 
his parents who came all the way out to Sierra Madre to see my play. And Zachary said he enjoyed it. And these are from my friend Felice, who was the first person to feed me after I broke my arm. And she grew these lovely flowers in her garden. I have had a lot of thoughts about wood chips. One of the things you've got to deal with if you do wood chips is raccoons love the wood chips to use as a toilet. And they also like to dig it up to find grubs equally. So part of what we have to do every Thursday is raccoon patrol and pick up poop and straighten out the wood chips. While Eric is tying up this vine, I just wanted to point out that this vine, this passion fruit vine is loaded. We, I, I can count one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven. Uh, one, six right here. Right there, see? I see. Oh, you seven. Don't, the camera, I don't make Seven. Oh, yeah, seven. seven. It's it blooming, see? Blooming. See? A lot. Right here. Ooh, very nice. Wow. See? Wow. Ooh, in a couple of weeks, it's a lot of food. Woo! Happy. So this is really going to fill up the trellis after all. I thought it wasn't going to, but it, it really is going to. This was the healthiest bed of potatoes I've ever planted. And I think it was because we got it in right before we got all that rain in February. But now it's looking kind of done and I've got a lot of spots on here. And I'm sure that's not a good thing. So we're gonna take all this out today and clear it out. What I planted in here was tiny little potatoes and it looks like that's what I'm getting back. Some of these are a little bit green on the end. I have to research if that's something that's not good and I have to Maybe cut that off or not use those. Oh, no. nice. I'm wasting no time and I'm going to fry up this potato that Eric just harvested for my lunch. I'm frying this potato in ghee. heard me say this, I like to put my coriander, my ground coriander on everything because I need to use up my ground pepper from my peppers last year. Might as well give a little heat. And of course I put black pepper on everything I can get away with. It's, it's very good for inflammation. as is turmeric. The potato is just a, really a vehicle for all, <laughs> all the stuff I put on it. can't believe I'm taking the time to just fry a simple potato, but I'm starving. Ghee is a big component of Ayurvedic medicine and cooking and lifestyle. I just picked some fresh arugula from my asparagus pot. And it's actually full on raining outside. These are farm fresh eggs. Ta-da! That's 
my breakfast at lunchtime. It's too low, this. We can fix it, can't we? I mean, I can't believe this. It rains like the morning we, we get rain barrels. It, it has to go in here. Oh, you got it? This would just be incredible if we actually were able to collect rain the same day I get the rain barrels and. You hold this? Yep. This is fine. Time to perfect it right now. But collect a little water. Yeah. Oh, maybe. It's not correct. It's the wrong. It's got to be a female. The female. This is. Can you push the whole thing or is it too heavy? Like that? Keep going. This bricks this way and this way. This way oh. and that way. Both, but I the same line. Mm -hmm. It's hanging. Quality control, okay? <laughs> when you're making products, you need quality control. No, it, it may be this is a different angle. Well, they put the spigot on the opposite side. And i got to tie these two together. And the spigot's on this side. It can't be on this side. It has to be on that side because there's a bit of a drop and elevation. So you can get a bucket under it. Do you put it like this, it's connected, but it's broke. Oh, my See, goodness. you put it like this, it's broke. Nothing. Connected. That's ridiculous. Okay, I thought we were going to have to drill a hole in it. But we found the one that will sit side by side and we connect it at the bottom and then they fill up together. Okay, these are not tied together yet, but we're gonna tie them together at the bottom once I get a fitting from the hardware store. I really should not have picked up that concrete block with my right hand. Oh, that was not a good idea. Here's my harvest for today. Whoops. But I got a handful of peas. Mm. My first boysenberry. Not huge. Mm. A little tart. But I grew that. Thanks so much for watching this video. Please give me that thumbs up. I still need about three quarters more of you who watch these videos to thumb it up. And I'll see you in the next one.